I, I would say um, two things. One, we have to be careful saying that we're, we, we want to do journalism that explains problems and hits hard at them. But um, it's just like, I don't, when I write a story, I don't think who's going to react and how they're going to react. That shouldn't be the point. And so we have to be a little bit careful saying, okay, this, we, the only way to judge the work is whether somebody does something as a result of that, putting it out there. But then as a corollary, I would say that um, uh, a lot of the problems could have been fixed by better regulation. And while we wrote about some of the stories, and in fact, I can pull out some stories that we wrote about regulators not doing their jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, in retrospect, probably something that we could have done more of is to go look at, um, examine why the regulators weren't doing what they weren't doing, and look at the relationship between the lobbying by the industry and legislators to open the window that, on some possible explanations for that. I, I think it's a very important question, and I would say the record actually provides some basis for optimism. Um, the Diana story we, I referred to, two weeks later, the, the, the lender, First Alliance, shut down. Um, great work done on an outfit called Associates, First Capital bought by City Financial, resulted in a large uh, penalty against them. Great work by the LA Times against America, about AmeriQuest, sorry, not against, about AmeriQuest. <laughs> Um, also resulted in, in a uh, record find by the general. So I, I, th I think that's, you're, you're very relevant. That's the way to, 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 to be in the record. record shows that, the, you'll, you'll, that there's some, he says, the basis for optimism there. There's one thing here, though. I mean, I, I sat on some of these panels after Enron, for example, and the part that was amazing to me was if I was sitting with board members, by the end of the discussion, we would have decided there was really no way that board members could have fixed this and it was a bad problem, <laughs> and probably the auditor should have done it differently. Mm -hmm. And if I was sitting with auditors, they would, by the end of the discussion, we'd all start saying we should have done something different. But then by the end of the discussion, the answer would be, well, the auditors really couldn't have done anything different because the board didn't do their part. Mm -hmm. And so, while I don't want to leave on a negative note, because I thought that was Dean's job, but then he got positive on us, <laughs> um, I, I do want to point out that Everybody here, there's plenty of, of blame to be shared, whether it's you guys, whether it's me as an academic, not calling people on this stuff as well. But the thing is that we each can say, how can we do our job a little better? And if, if you can make it easier for people to understand why they should care, I just think things have gotten complex. My mother-in-law gets the Wall Street Journal, but I'm not sure when she reads some of these more complicated stories, she knows why she should care. Mm -hmm. And so the next piece might be, I understand you don't want to write it thinking, who's going to change because of this? On the other hand, you may want to ask, is there an extra group that I can get to understand this by doing a little something different in the story? And that may be how you get that incremental, because all of us are pushing for just the incremental better in life, right? That might be how you get it. Well, with, it with Enron and, say, Countrywide, there's a simple question that maybe we didn't ask quite enough, which is, is this too good to be true? How could they outperform everybody else by so much? I mean, it's a stretch to, to look at Angelo Mozillo and say, this guy's tan is too much. Something must be fishy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you look at his executive compensation, you say, well, does, does the business really support this, or is this uh, you know, the proceeds of a crime? I mean, I, and I'll leave it at that. Great. OK, I, I'm going to take uh, the prerogative of the moderator and have the last word. Um, uh, which is, first of all, to thank the panel for a terrific um, uh, debate and, and interaction. And secondly, to say that, that um, I think maybe we're, we're kind of asking the wrong question, the too hard question, which is, you know, did the press do its job? And I'm thinking, you know, sort of, there's a Jim Bouton, a crazy baseball pitcher who once wrote a book, said, I managed. Uh, I managed great, they played bad, um, you know, which is, which is kind of blaming, blaming the readers. And, and the other side is, well, we had a crash, therefore we didn't do our job. Well, you know, there will be blood, there will be crashes. Just as there will be death, just as there will be birth, there will be crashes. And the longer you go between them, often, the worse, uh, the worse they are. But that doesn't give us a pass, um, because uh, we can improve things by uh, doing our job better. And as somebody who's been in 
was in before I uh, crossed over to the non um, uh, uh, intentional nonprofit world. Yeah. Um, uh, that that um, uh, you know, I spent more than more than forty five years in business journalism, and by every measure that I can think of, the business journalism of the last ten years was the best that I've ever seen. That doesn't mean it was it was perfect. It was far from perfect, and and um, uh, there were things that. Uh, we did well. We heard about those. Um, the things we uh, didn't do well enough are, first of all, the thing that Dean has focused on, which is the look at particular miscreants. Um, and, and why is that important? It's not important because if you somehow knocked off Countrywide and then knocked off IndyMac and then knocked off WAMU and then knocked off Lehman Brothers, everything would be better because the structure was so bad that somebody else would have come in to, to take their place. But if you can put the blocks to people who are doing bad stuff like the ones I just named, you create the, the attention of the society. Um, Greg's mother can understand um, uh, people that delude poor borrowers when you've got chapter, chapter and verse. The, the structural stuff is much Tougher, uh, much tougher to understand. So I think Dean makes a good point when he says we should be looking for those stories that exemplify um, uh, the bad stuff that we see going on. But also I think it's very important for, for business journalists to pay attention to the three R's. I, mean, I think the three R's were really at the center of what went wrong here. One is the regulators, and they, they've um, uh, been mentioned. And, just to, to clarify it, this was equal opportunity and, and bipartisan. You had um, uh, Alan Greenspan, Larry Summers, Bob Rubin, all saying that, the, that uh, we did not want to regulate um, CDOs, we did not want to regu re regulate um, uh, the, 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 the derivatives. Um, that was a, a conspiracy from, from both sides of the aisle. The second R is the rocket scientists. Um, they are way smarter than we are, um, but trust me, they will always get you into trouble. And if you make them explain it to you so you can understand it, you can write some very good um, stories about how the emperor has no clothes. And um, finally, the rating agencies. Mm. Um, I mean, I think the, the, the people who got the pass all through this. I mean, we, we used to joke about how the rating agencies would come along and drop somebody's rating after we'd written seven stories um, uh, this, describing the fault of the, of the company. I'm sorry. They got rich as enablers. Mm -hmm. And um, we weren't paying attention to that. We should have been paying attention, attention to that. But all of that says to me that, um, uh, you know, look, you should not lose sight of the good things that you did over the, over the, um, uh, the past decade. And um, the challenge for you, and it's particularly difficult as you're wondering whether you're going to have a job when you get home mm -hmm. in the middle, of, the middle of, of this week, is to learn from what you did right, see where the holes are, and don't make the same mistakes again. You'll make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Don't make the same mistakes again. Uh, have a great conference. Um, uh, I, I think the panel was terrific, and uh, I think we should give them all a hand. Paul, Paul. This is Greg McKeown from Reuters, the Vice President of Cebu, and I just want to thank you so much for moderating the panel and all of our panelists. Um, we are scheduled to take a short break um, for 15 minutes and then we